This is the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit. Top of the line edition right here. Definitely, definitely clean. Let's get to the details of this car. Opening up the hood, got these hood struts up here, which is pretty cool. I did not know about that. But the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit is equipped with a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine that's putting out just about, I believe, 290 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. I could be wrong. I might correct myself on the screen, but it's okay. And you can also get this engine in a V8 as well with horsepower numbers of 357 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. It's not too shabby at all. Miles per gallon rating is 18 around the city and 25 on the highway. Um, so it's not really too bad at all. Starting off with the front here, the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L is definitely a beautiful car in my opinion. Jeep has definitely stepped up the game with this one. I mean, the Jeep Grand Cherokee um, from the years before was, was pretty cool too. But this Jeep Grand Cherokee L, especially this Summit right here, is definitely, definitely a game changer for sure. As you see right here, you have the Jeep LED lights all right here. Full LED lights in the, in the front up here and down here in the fog lights as well. Also equipped with the motion sensors in the front of the car so you guys won't hit anything. You got Jeep signature grill right here. Definitely on a lot of the Jeep cars. You definitely know it's a Jeep because you got the signature grill right here. But hidden right here in the middle of the signature grill has a front facing camera. And if you guys didn't know as well, this little thing like right here this cleans out the front camera too so like the camera gets all like say like living here in ohio and there's like a lot of snow on it maybe just like wash it off a little bit definitely a nice feature to the car for sure coming over here to the side of the g grand cherokee l you see with these 20 inch wheels right here wrapped with some 265 tires all around of the car definitely beautiful wheels for sure i like the design of it now looking at the side of the Z Grand Cherokee L, it's definitely giving me luxury vibes for sure. I don't know if it almost resembles, let me zoom out a little bit. I don't know if it almost resembles like a, like a Range Rover to you guys, but to me it resembles a Range Rover a little bit, but it's definitely still a clean look, so I'm definitely not knocking it at all. One thing I also love about the Jeep Grand Cherokee L's is this little silver lining like right here, how it goes all the way back to the back of the car and then like waterfalls right down to the lights back here and it just goes throughout the whole car and I definitely love that feature for sure. Now coming to the back, you see these new LED brake lights back here and um, from what I've heard, they listed these up a little bit from the OG Grand Cherokees, how like the lights were kind of like a little bit lower. So I guess like a facelift or like, is it a facelift? I'll call it a back lift. Does that make sense? <laughs> but you see, you got the four by four sign right here and you got the summit right here, top of the line right there for sure. Also with the G Grand Cherokee L, it comes equipped with the tow raise, I think it does. I really don't know how to work it, you know, so I'm just gonna open it regularly. Yeah, I'm just gonna open it regularly. Opening the trunk is definitely a lot of trunk space in the car, and there's even more trunk space when you put these seats down. Um, you can control the seats from the from the back seats, you can control those as making them face down, and then making these face down as well as the back as the third row. But for the second rows, you cannot bring those back up. I think you have to do that on your own. So let me just show you real quick right here. See, one goes on just like so. And the other one does the same thing. I will bring those seats down too, but you know, I really don't feel like it. So we're gonna keep it like that. <laughs> also, you guys have a 12 volt right here too if you wanna charge up anything in the back of your trunk. And for the third rows, you guys still have these USB ports as well for the older and the newer models. Like I know on my iPhone, I got these new little USB port things, which I don't know what it is but those will definitely come in handy for the people sitting in the third row. Also, one thing I learned about the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, you will have this hold to set, you see this hold to set sign right there. So being that this car is very expensive and you guys, if whoever wants to purchase this car, you put it in your garage, right? And I, I see my mom do so mom don't be mad at me about this, but you get a nice new car and then you like open the trunk, and then the trunk comes all the way up and it hits the top of your garage right here. So all you would have to do, I'm not gonna do it today, but um, all you have to do is like, hold it down like pushes down and then you will like hold set to where the jeep grand cherokee will set a certain height to where you want the lift gate to go you know what i'm gonna just show you guys real quick I 
also back here you guys have the tow hooks back here you was there's two like two little screws like right underneath this car to where you just unhook it unscrew it then your tow hook will be right here for you if you want to tow things for your car so definitely another nice feature added to the car the key on this car is definitely nice and elegant definitely nice touch to the car for sure Coming to the back of the car, you see this car is equipped with the captain's seats in the back. So there's not really a no benchmark seat for, for it to be seven people. So it's okay though, because you still have a third row back there if you want to lift them seats back up. But as you see, these seats are definitely beautiful. The diamond stitching leather is definitely lovely. I love the feel of it. This middle console is definitely lovely too with the two cup holders right here and some extra stuff right here, which I don't know what that is, but we're gonna keep it going. <laughs> you have a nice armrest right here. You lift it up, you have one compartment right there. Lift it again. Okay, you won't lift it again. I, is this, is this, <laughs> I guess it's just one. All right, but I do know that you lift it from back here and it opens up just like a little table for you guys. If anybody's sitting back here and wants like more room to lay stuff down, there you go. You have another compartment right here so we can just open it up and do as you please. Also back here, you guys will have the climate controls to control the cool temperature heat whatever seat warmers auto mode all that fans it shows everything back here for you guys whoever is in the second passenger row and maybe also in the third row and if you guys are wondering how is the space of the car if like a person like like me <laughs> as you see i'm still recording with the phone but i'm 6'2 and we're gonna see how i fit As you guys see, I fit perfectly fine. A lot of headroom here to fit this nappy head of mine, you know, but uh, it's not nappy, never mind, I changed that. Look how good my hair looks. Yes, yeah, a lot of leg room, a lot of decent space back here for a person who's 6'2", maybe a little bit higher, maybe 6'3", depending on the shoe I got on, but I fit perfectly fine. So yeah, your passengers will definitely be comfortable in this car. Before entering the car as well, you have these seat controls, which definitely looks definitely nice. Very shiny, I like shiny things. I'm just touching it, let me stop touching it. But <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a nice feature for sure. As you guys see with the front, it's definitely just like the back. Diamond stitching all over the car. Wool grain all over here with the passenger seat and diamond stitching on the seat as well. So let's sit in the front of the seat. Let's get some more detail about this car. All right, let me sit inside, hold on. See the summit right here, that glows up during the night too as well. So let's get inside this car real quick. As you see, you have this lovely interior of this car. Definitely luxurious for sure. Leather wrapped steering wheel with some shiny extras to it. I don't know what that's called. So I'm gonna just say shiny extras. <laughs> Got the wood grain on the steering wheel as well, along with your steering wheel option to use for your car. You have your buttons over here too to toggle through the car. Um, just get more info on your car if you want to, which is definitely a nice feature as well. Over here, you have your cruise control, auto cruise control and stuff, which is definitely nice. Jeep brand local right here in the middle. You guys will also have the quick paddle shifters for the car for the Jeep Grand Cherokee L's. I believe all trims have this as well. So which is definitely lovely. Over here, you have the light switches over here to turn to toggle left and right and stuff or your high beams. Things over here to clean up your windshield and your mirrors behind you and all that stuff. So it's definitely a nice touch to the car. But let's work our way over here to the center console of the car, the infotainment system. Before we get to the infotainment system, down here you guys see the toggle, the little gear shifter toggle was definitely nice for sure. I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna call it a gear shifter toggle. <laughs> Sounds cool in my head. But the turn switch is definitely nice for parking, reverse, all the simple stuff. And you have over here your drive modes, which you can just switch to for like sport mode, sn uh, go back up for snow, sand, and rock and stuff. And as you guys switch through for each each mode of the car, your your dash will change a little a little bit too. See how it's in auto mode right now? I go to sport. You see how it changes up a little bit. Go up to snow, then go to sand, then go to rock, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool features that have some little effects to the car. Right here is for your car's air ride suspension. So say if you want to take this car off road, which I don't know if anybody would take this. How much does this car cost? MSRP? MSRP, um, well, base price of this car is 58,000, but total is for 65,000. I don't know if anybody's gonna take this off road, but hey, some people out here will do it. But back to the air ride suspension. This car will raise up 
10 inches, I believe, from what I've been hearing. And then go down lower too if you like driving conditions may change. So definitely a nice feature to the uh, to the summit. Up to the top right here of the screen, you had an auto start stop button, lane keep assist, traction control, you know, hazard buttons, parking systems on and stuff, and parking assist as well, just, just so you guys know. But right here in the infotainment system is definitely nice. It's definitely responsive. Go to your home screen, have the navigation right here set up for you and also i believe the navigation is right here as well on your dash it's definitely lovely you got your music you have all types of apps you can go through for this car it's definitely nice as you guys see i got the massaging seats working right now and this stuff definitely feels lovely i'm about to i'm about to almost fall asleep in the seat i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but yeah this car is definitely equipped with massage seats and that's definitely a lovely feature you definitely need in a luxurious car just like this Switch through over here, you have your camera, which is definitely nice with your front facing camera, which I said earlier in the video, you can see your front, you can see the back of your car. You can also go press this button right here and you'll see the top of your car and a full 360 view of the car too as well. So that's definitely helpful for sure. For a $60,000 car, better have this, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's definitely a nice feature to have all these angles for your car so you can see and watch out for your surroundings so you won't get any dings on the car as well. And if you go your way down here, it's definitely just simple buttons just like turn on your radio and stuff or change the change radio stations got the heated and cooled seats was definitely nice heated steering wheels definitely nice as well down here you have your portable charger right here and you have both of your usb drives for the newer and you for the newer and old usb plugs auxiliary cord right here and another 12 volt as well i can't open it hold on <laughs> there you go another 12 volt as well if you need it and yeah that's about sums it up for this car and hold on wait one more thing too. I just noticed up here, it's, just, it's your digital rear view camera right here. And it's definitely nice for sure. I definitely love that. I've never seen it in a car before in person. So first time for first time for everything, right? First time's a charm, but that's definitely nice for sure. Up here, you guys see the full panoramic sunroof and the controls is right up there. And also it's definitely nicely wrapped with a nice Al Alcantara feel. Can't say Alcantara right. <laughs> With a nice Alcantara feel though, it's definitely lovely. And, that, and that's definitely a nice, beautiful touch to the car as well. So sitting inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit, um, it definitely is a big car. Definitely, as you can see, all the roads all the way to the back there. It definitely feels like a big car for sure. But I believe if you drive it around, I don't think I'm gonna get to drive it today because I ain't got enough clout yet, but it's all good because we're gonna get there one day. But if you drive this car around, I feel like it's giving like the feeling of just like a like the like the smaller Jeep Grand Cherokees, the um the older ones, the older models, but they're coming out a new model as well. Just a, just like the regular Jeep Grand Cherokees, um, it definitely looks like it handles very well. But um, in the future, I definitely will uh, drive cars for my car views and stuff, and um, we'll get better as we grow. We'll get better as we grow. As I'm getting out the vehicle, I almost forgot to mention there is a beautiful Macintosh stereo systems. Is one right here, one right here, one over there and so forth back there and so forth throughout the car all the way in the back. It's definitely a nice feature and I definitely believe it sounds definitely lovely for this car. So yeah, that about sums it up for the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Just trying to do my first review for the channel. I'm gonna review more cars in the future. Um, shout outs again to Classic Dodge Jeep and Ram for giving me my first opportunity to review my first car from the channel from a dealership, which is definitely dope. And I'm gonna keep on trying to grow with the channel and hopefully you guys enjoy this review. And if you guys want to come up here and buy this car, this car is definitely available. It's first come, first serve. Come to Classic Dodge Jeep Ram and tell them MW sent you because it gave me some clout. So <laughs> help me out a little bit. Help me help you. Help me help you. That is it for this review, YouTube. Now, I know I didn't drive the car today, but it's okay because it's, it's my first video and I don't want to ask for too much to come to a dealership. <laughs> Telling them, can I drive your car around the block and stuff? And I'm just like a new YouTuber. So bear with me. I will grow to do that one day for, m for more car reviews. I'm going to bring more car reviews to the channel. And yeah, I'm just keep on going. Uh, I'm going to try to get some like nice exotic cars if I can, sports cars, pickup trucks, because I love pickup trucks as well. Any all type of cars for real. Um, what do you guys think? It's my first review. I think I kind of did okay. I'm gonna get real, I'm gonna get a little better though. It's okay. Um, still gonna do like more info, more research on my cars. I try to um, review on, try to do some research on this car. I don't know if I did enough yet, but I'm gonna grow and do better with it one day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Doing everything I can to grow myself to get 1K uh, subscribers and um and so forth. Like I'm gonna go to 1K. I'm gonna say it again. 10K. Then I'm gonna say it again. 100K. Then maybe 200K. But uh, 
I'm done talking, man. She bought NW2. I need to be rude. Did my first car review on a beautiful car because I'm a beautiful dude. You know? <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm done. Be safe, my good people.